Hey guys, what's up? This is Owen Anx or Squishy, and today I thought I'd give you guys an updated tutorial on how to change your Minecraft skin for the PC without buying the game. Now, the reason I'm updating this tutorial is because my first attempt at it, which was quite a while ago, wasn't very good and I didn't really explain it to you guys very well. Uh, I got some good feedback on it that a lot of you guys found it helpful though, so I'm glad about that. So thank you for the support. And I also got quite a few questions. Now, one of these questions was, uh, will people on multiplayer see my skin if uh, I'm on a crack server? And the answer to that is no. The only way that they could see your skin, so saying if you're playing with your friends or something on it, is if they had the exact same texture pack that you have uh, with uh, your skin that you've imported into it, which I'll get on to in a minute. Um, another one was... Uh, I can't remember what the other one was, but there was another question. And if I do remember it, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, I can't really remember it at the moment. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, then let's jump straight into it now. The first thing is you want to go to www.rawlab.com, and that'll be somewhere down here if you guys forget about that. And it'll bring you to this. It says, Welcome to Raw Lab and WinRot and Raw Archivers. We're going to go over to here and click Downloads. And you are greeted with a massive page full to the brim with downloads and obviously down here the ones that you are going to want as you can see you have different languages 32 and 64 bits so obviously if you're English you're going to have these right here and all you do then is you just click one and it will start down here downloading just like that okay once you have that then you can then move on to the next step which is to come to www.minecrafttexturepacks.com forward slash faithful and now this is you can use any texture pack that you want. I'm just going to be using this one as an example as this is a really, really nice texture pack. And it also looks similar to the Minecraft textures, which I know a lot of you guys like. So you get a couple quick previews right here. And then if you click this preview window right here, you it comes up with the loading page. And then you have a load of blocks with these just set out. So you can see what every single block in the game looks like. And I think this picture hasn't been updated to 1.8 yet. It's still at 1.7. So you can actually see some of the uh, 1.8 blocks yet even though it says at the top version minecraft 1.8 but yep you're just gonna want to come here and hit the download button like that and you'll get a quick download and um this page does genuinely have a few ads so if you do see a big green download button somewhere around here uh do not click that one uh, i have ad block on hence why there's nothing there and they also have quite a lot of other texture packs on here, so if we go to home, you can see that a lot of these are 1.8, and they do go up to the 128 by 128 resolutions. So once it downloads, you can go ahead and put it somewhere where you know it will be, somewhere like your desktop, as I have done here. Now, the next thing is you want to right-click it, and you're going to want to click Extract the Faithful and then or whatever your texture pack will be. So it's just the third WinRAR one down. So you hit that and you'll get an extracting window should pop up and it should not take that long. It will take a couple of seconds. This also depends on your computer and stuff like that. So all that basically did is that just transferred every single file from this WinRAR file. It's extracted it and made it into, it's unzipped it pretty much. And you have everything that you need in there. So yeah, once you've done that, you can go ahead and you can delete the WinRAR file as we will not be needing that anymore. The next thing is you are going to want to get to your Minecraft uh, folder, like where all the game files and that are kept. Now, if you're on Windows XP, you can hit the start button. There should be some, like a run button or something down here. If you're on Windows 7, I believe you can search roaming, I think, and it should come up with something up there or there is an even quicker way which I always do all the time is you hold down your Windows key and you press R. Now here you have this, this loads up your run window and in here you're going to want to type percent app data data percent right about like that it'll be down here if you guys forget about that and you want to hit OK. And then this takes you to your roaming file, as I spoke about when I was trying to search it. And at, right at the top, you should have .minecraft. So if you hit that, this is where all your Minecraft files will be kept, if you did not know. Then you want to go into your resource packs, and you want to drag that in there. 
Now this shouldn't come up with you guys, but yeah, it should come up with something like that, and this won't come up for you guys. Uh, it's only because I've done this before, so yeah, I do. I have bought the game, so that would be why. So yep, it's just doing that, and. Oh, yeah, the other question was, would you have to disconnect your internet for the skin to work? And that was, no, I didn't. I only disconnected mine because I have already bought the game. So we have to wait another five seconds for this to go. And wow, that's a that's a lot of items that it's moving. Now it's gone up to ten seconds, so... And there we go, we are done. So we have Faithful in here, right like that. And if you go into Faithful and you choose Assets, and then you go to Minecraft... Then you go to textures and entity, and then scroll down, you should see a picture, or some texture packs don't have it, so I'll get to that in a minute. It should have something called Steve, and this is only because it has a custom Steve already that, com well, that comes with the texture pack. So there you go, that's the Steve, it's just a redone Steve. Now, two choices, you can either go ahead and delete that, get just get rid of it completely, or you can just go ahead and download your skin from this website. This is the best website, in my opinion, for skins. Uh, it's minecraftskins.com. And again, it'll be down here somewhere if you guys forget that. But yeah, all you're going to want to basically do is just say if you like something like that skin. And you just wait for this page to load. And you get a 3D preview right here. Uh, where you can change the background and stuff. Like that. And there you go, hovering on water. And you're going to want to come over to the side. On these four things here, you want to hit download to computer and yep once you've done that drag that onto your desktop and as you can see I already had another one down here which was my Steve skin before and uh, this is my own texture pack so um, yep and you want to uh, you can either right click and copy that in or you can just go ahead and drag it down onto the folder move to entity and then you're gonna have it there now you're gonna to wanna to right click it, rename, and just all all lowercase letters into Steve. Now it should if you didn't delete it, you wanna hit no. Oh you sorry, you will have to delete that. So if we delete that like that, and then it should nope, not silverfish, then it should let us rename that into Steve. And there we go. So that's pretty much all the setup done now. I don't need that one anymore. So, yep, next thing, I'm going to have to uh, disconnect my internet real quick. And whilst we're doing that, I'll load up Minecraft. Now, this, I apologize. I apologize for now because my Minecraft can genuinely take it quite a while to to uh, load up. It's generally not fit. It's genuinely, it gets stuck on the Mojang screen. So, yeah, I may have to speed that up for you guys so you don't get bored just watching it so we have this starting launcher and it's probably not going to help the speed that I, if I'm recording as well so yeah uh, I'm going to speed this bit up for you guys from now on so as you can see what I'm going to do is hit play offline as that was what some of you that's what most of you will see if you have not bought the game hope anyway and this is as of 1.8 the first 1.8 release not the pre-release the actual release that this works for so yep from now on guys i'm gonna go ahead and i'll speed this up for you so yeah Okay guys, so as you can see, Minecraft just loaded up, and if you go ahead and click your options, go to resource packs, I have no idea why that, why we have two of them. Um, I think if we go and hit done, that's going to change it back to the default resource pack. So if you guys don't have that, you're just going to see this, and you want to hit options, resource packs, and um, I'm not sure which one of these it is. Now, so, yeah. <laughs> We're just going to guess, and we're going to go with the top one. And once you've put that over, in, I'm using 1.7, it's the same process for 1.8 as well. You're going to want to put that in, and then you're going to go ahead and hit done. 
and this could take a while depending on your computer once again if you hit done again and you can load up your world and let's see if we got the right one I like I said I have no idea why there was two but yeah oh it seems we got the right one so that was all well and good um, this is a load of Steve heads right here so yep there we go as you can see my skin has now been changed this is the original Steve skin and now if I could connect my internet, I would have to restart Minecraft and I would have my skin back. Now this, as I said in the last tutorial, this isn't just for people who say don't have a Minecraft account. I mean, you can do this even if you do have a Minecraft account and you just hate seeing Steve's running around all over the place and you just want to see something a little bit nicer, like say maybe a skin that you like or a YouTuber's skin or something like that, then that is always good. So, yeah guys, I think that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope this one was a lot more helpful than the last one, as I know a lot of you struggled to follow the steps with the last one, as I didn't explain it very well. Let me know if this one wasn't explained very well, and I will probably make another tutorial, and there will be another tutorial coming soon if, again, this, this changes. I'll try to do my best to figure that out. Hopefully more Minecraft gaming and stuff like that coming soon for you guys. So yeah guys, I think that's pretty much it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!